Hi everyone, and welcome to Bluebeam Review. My name is Ari, and I'm a Bluebeam Certified Instructor with Digital Drafting Systems. Today, we're going to learn about layers in Review. We can access our layers by clicking on the Layers panel. It looks like two pieces of paper on top of each other. Here we can see all of our markups in different layers. For example, I've placed all of my custom markups in the My Markups layer. I can turn them all off at the same time by clicking on the eye icon right here. And I can turn them on once again. I can also lock this layer. What this means is that if you right click on top of a layer, now I can't rename it, and if the layer was not visible, I cannot turn it on. However, if I was to isolate another layer, for example, 50% design and development, I can still turn off my markups by doing so. They've turned off even though the layer is locked. If I unlock the layer, it shows that the eye symbol is turned on, but if I press it once and then again, I can turn the layer on. So locking has some functions, but it doesn't function exactly the way that you would think. Then I can choose which layers will print and which layers will be exported when they're exported to either Excel or a PDF summary. At the top, we can see the layers drop down and we can reset our layers back to their default state. We can show only layers that have set to print and show only layers that are set to export. We can show all layers very quickly. So if we isolate our layers and we want to turn them all on very quickly, we can click on this button. And we can show layers only on this page if we want to and not layers that are on other pages. I'm going to go to my thumbnails and I'll show you all that if I navigate to the fourth page here in our PDF set and I go back to layers, it's currently showing that there are layers, but there's no markups on this page that are associated with these layers. Thus, the layers are grayed out. Let's go back to our first page and let's go back to layers. Let's go back to our layers dropdown. We can sort our layers alphabetically and we can access the dial dialog here. This is used with a special 3D mouse called a dial. Next to that, we can add a new layer. Before doing so, we can add a layer before or after a specific layer on our list. So let's select my markups, click on add new layer, and we can add a layer before it. For example, we can call it test before and click on OK. The layer is currently grayed out because there are no markups associated with that layer. Let's add one to it now. I'm going to add one of the markups in my markups to it. Let's choose this one. And now we can right click on top of it, mouse over layer, and we can choose any of the layers that we want. Right now we can see a check next to my markups. So we're going to add it to test before. And now if we turn off test before, that markup will turn off and then back on. And so we can quickly change the layer that a markup is on by simply right clicking on top of it and then mousing over layer and changing it back to any layer that we want. Now test before is grayed out again because there are no layers associated with it on this page. If we select my markups once more, we can add a layer after it and we can add a child layer. This layer will now be associated with my markups. So let's call it test child and press OK. Now you can see that it's indented with my markups. And so I can add specific markups to this layer. Let's add that same markup that we have here to that one. Right click on top of it, layer, and here is the test child layer. Now we can turn off layers within it and lock them if we need to. Or if we turn off my markups altogether, all of the layers associated with my markups as child layers will also turn off. So you can use one layer to turn off a multitude of layers that are nested within it. And that's where child layers can come into practice. Let's go to the next dropdown. We can add layer from the page if we want to. So if there's an existing layer on the page, we can also add it before, after a specific layer or as a child as well. Let's look at layer configurations. If we look at this default dropdown, we only have one default configuration. Let's make a new one by clicking on this dropdown. And here is new configuration. We're going to call it config test and we'll click OK. Now we've automatically selected the config test as our configuration and we can switch between different configurations. Right now we can make changes to our layer states right now. So let's say that I was going to lock 50% DD and my markups and I wanted to turn off 25% DD just because we don't need to see it anymore. Now that I'm ready, I can go back to this dropdown and click on save configuration. Now this configuration is ready to go. If I select the default configuration, all of the settings that were present prior to making the configuration are now reset back to normal. 
If I go back to my config test, all the layers that I've turned off and the ones that I've locked are back to being off and locked. So you can use configurations to have specific layer states and control multiple layers at the same time without having to manually control each one when trying to show or hide certain layers. You can also go back to this dropdown, and if you need to, you can delete a configuration right here. Thank you very much for watching our tutorial on layers in Bluebeam Review. Once again, my name is Ari, and I'm with Digital Drafting Systems. Hope you have a great rest of your day.